let's move on to topic number two. Topic number two, the Bucks are now limping. A big injury coming out of nowhere, and this obviously happens in professional sports. And it happens a lot, but obviously happening at the wrong time for the Milwaukee Bucks with Giannis Antetokounmpo going down with a leg injury. So what do you really think the chances are now that they can beat, you know, this Atlanta Hawks team that was already a down without their star themselves and had a big, big night without their star? So I don't know. What do, what do you got going on with these two stars being hurt, one for each team? I think this certainly hurts the Bucks a lot more than it hurts the Hawks because, number one, I mean, Trey's been yeah. great. Giannis is a better player, so you're losing a better player. Number two, even with some of the injuries that the Hawks have sustained, you know, uh, with losing DeAndre Hunter and now Trey Young, they're, they're a very deep team. We talked about this last week. You've got yeah. guys like John Collins who can pick up the slack scoring. He's obviously a good rebounder. Clint Capella, very good center, knows his role, rim runner, rim protector, rebounder. Then you have guys like Kevin Herter who can score. I mean, he had the 27 points in game seven of the second round. Then you also have Cam Reddish now back who hasn't quite lived up to where he was drafted, but is still a solid player off the bench who can score. So you have guys on that team who can fill up the stat sheet? Danilo Gallinari. I mean, there's they have a ton of guys who can play. So you know when you lose what you you don't want to lose Trey Young, obviously, but you have other guys that can step up and fill a role on that team to kind of make up for it. Whereas with the Bucks, even before Giannis got hurt, they were only playing maybe seven guys. I mean, when you know they they haven't been playing Bobby Portis a lot. You know, Pat Connaughton hasn't quite you know played great for the Bucs team, despite being from Arlington, Massachusetts. Uh, yep. You know, so it's really just been Giannis, Drew Holiday, Middleton, Lopez, and the other starter is escaping me for the Bucs right now. I don't know why I can't think of it. Drew Holiday. But Drew Holiday. They, they are, are, are very solid at the top. They're a top-heavy team. But when one of those top pieces falls, they're going to struggle. So from what I understand, Giannis hyperextended his knee. So he might, he's probably going to come back. I don't think he'll play in game uh, five, but I think he might be back for game six. We'll see how it goes. It looked like he really sprained his ankle at first, but um, believe it or not, a severely sprained ankle isn't as bad as a hyperextended knee. So we'll see if that's the case. Who knows, though, with these injuries? I mean, we, we are still waiting for Kawhi Leonard to come back. Um, you know, Joel Embiid came back from, a, from a, an injury that we thought would, he would never be able to come back from, and he did. And played the entire rest of the postseason once they got back. So it, it just depends on you know different guys and, and sometimes the bigger guys, especially the lower leg injuries. You know it's it's tougher for them, but we'll see. We'll see if Giannis comes back. But I think the Hawks are going to take Game Five. If you're you're taking out the two superstars, Trey Young and Giannis, and then you've just got the the rest of the both of both teams competing against each other. I think the Hawks win that game. Yeah, well, first off, we often don't disagree with each other, so this is going to be good for the viewers and the ratings. But I personally think Trey Young's a better player than Giannis, and I would I would draft him over Giannis. And I know a lot of people would rather have Giannis with his size, his speed, his athletic capability. I just have said many times that Giannis has no outside game. He's he's almost like a Ben Simmons, but he's not as bad as Ben Simmons. Clearly, you know, but he just clearly has to drive to the hole too much and rely on his post game a little bit more than an NBA superstar needs to. And that's the only gripe I have about Giannis. And hey, he's still developing his game. I know he's kind of had a little turnaround jumper that he's tried to add into his game this season. So he's clearly working on his development. He's still such a young guy that he can clearly develop into that all around player. But all around right now, I think Trey Young has got everything. He's got everything you need right now. But we've talked about it on the show in the past about and, and just over the past couple of weeks, you know, I said how it's kind of like the battle of, you know, you got the best players with the Bucks against the best team with Atlanta. And so now with the best player, one of the best players being out, I think the best team is going to even take more advantage of that and step up. I'm expecting the Hawks to kind of win the next game and put a grip on the series. And if Trey Young can come back, I'm definitely expecting a win. Because like he said, I don't expect Giannis to play in the next game. And it's really one of those things. I think if you're the Bucks, you've got to be thinking, can we get it to seven games right now so we can get a little rest for our superstar and bring him back into the fold 
to kind of have a chance to win this game, win this series in seven. Um, Cause it's just really one of those things where I don't, he's not going to be available. It doesn't look like, I mean, he was down on the floor a long time and that looked like it was a very painful injury where he was holding his lower leg injury. So I know they're saying it's not super serious, but it's one of those things where I think it's going to take him a little bit of time. And is he going to have the confidence on it too, when he comes back to kind of play at his game, which is obviously slashing dynamic attacking the hoop and really, you know, trying to dunk on people and be aggressive down low. So we'll see if he's still going to be the same player coming back off of that injury. But right now, like we said, is Chris Middleton and Drew Holiday, are they going to be enough with being the other two superstars on that team to be able to step up? And I, I don't know right now. I've got to go with the Hawks right now, especially if Trey Young can come back off of his ankle injury. So I honestly want to see the Atlanta Hawks versus the Phoenix Suns for the NBA Finals still picking the Phoenix Suns to win it all. Yeah, I think that'll be an interesting matchup. Uh, right now, I think the Hawks are in a better position in the Eastern Conference Finals, as we just mentioned. We'll see what Giannis's injury status is later on in the series. But uh, time is a wasted here for both those teams. Um, but I think what, one of the most important things out of those two series, too, is how, how these coaches are going to adjust to these injuries and the, and the lineups they're going to adjust to. Um, and that's going to be big in, in these last couple of games. 